think about this. It's April 2020, and you're sitting reading your copy of Alien Bodies or Lung Barrow, wondering if Doctor Who will ever do large events again in the extended media. As you're contemplating the vast stories Doctor Who is capable of, you see this image. The amount of hype and excitement around Time Lord Victorious was staggering, myself included in the hordes of people foaming at the mouth to get more information on this event. As the BBC started to release complicated timelines and multiple tie-in stories, it became quickly apparent to me that this series could be hard to enter without a guide through it. So this series serves not only as a review series, but as a roadmap to Time Lord Victorious. Welcome to Crossing the Dark Times. As Defender of the Daleks is the first release in the series, this is generally the point where most people jump into Time Lord Victorious. But don't let the front cover fool you. It doesn't have either the 8th or 9th Doctors in it. it. doesn't have Rose or Brian the Ood. Yeah, there's a psychotic Ood called Brian, I'll explain that in another video. Slightly misleading cover aside, I do like this graphic novel. It has some refreshing ideas, parts that will surprise you, and some funny moments that I'll get into later in the video. It feels more like a short story to whet your appetite for Time Lord Victorious, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it just might be slightly frustrating considering the price tag. Sheesh. This graphic novel had a difficult job, as it's most people's first look into the story of Time Lord Victorious, so it needed to hook people in and get them excited for what's to come. Unfortunately, I feel like this story is only an introductory, and doesn't seem to tease the more exciting elements of the event, as it just sort of has bits loosely involving the arc dotted through it. For example, the Honda creatures from the Dark Times, the Emperor Dalek is back just in case you missed him, and none of the Daleks recall the Time War. Now, don't worry, if you aren't sure about what the Dark Times are at this point, this is further explained in other Time Lord Victoria stories, and is only in the comic as a teaser. So, yeah, it would have been nice to have a more involved story, but as a standalone comic, I think it was pretty good. The author of this story was Jodie Hauser, who's been writing for the 13th Doctor for a few years now, and has worked on various other comic stories before that. Hauser is a fairly long-term fan of the show, falling in love with Christopher Eccleston's portrayal of the Doctor in Series 1. The plot she's written for Time Lord Victoria seems to be a little bit more stripped back and linear than her usual works, but considering she had two issues to work with, I can completely understand why she decided to play it safe with a simpler plot. Roberta Ingranata is the artist for this book, and she's definitely very experienced in her field. She's drawn for quite a number of years working for Italian companies, and is now currently working for Titan and Image Comics. The art style in this book I feel is overall well drawn, and in keeping with the feel of the narrative. I do feel David Tennant's likeness hasn't been quite captured in this book as well as he has been in other graphic novels, and the movement can feel a little bit stiff at times, but overall I feel the art is well drawn and it easily transports you into the world it's presenting. So the story starts when the Doctor's TARDIS starts to explode and catch on fire. After the initial confusion, the Doctor finds out that wherever he lands, the Daleks are waiting for him, and whatever he does, he's not able to escape them. Oh look, cows. The Doctor is then forced to meet the Emperor Dalek, who should be dead, and learns that not only do the Daleks not have any recollection of the Time War, but they need his help to fight an enemy called the Hond. Now, the Hond are a species that come from the Dark Times that should have been wiped out a long time ago. The Hond started to fight the Daleks across the universe, and whenever the Daleks retaliate and fire back, they only get stronger. After a lot of convincing and realising the danger that the Hond posed, the Doctor agrees to travel to Skaro to analyse the Daleks' defence systems, guided by the one and only Dalek strategist, when a scout of the Hond appears in the Daleks' main weapon storage. We learn that the Honda are actually this cosmic embodiment of pain before the universe even worked out what life was, the Dark Times. This is why the Daleks' weapons were no use against them. Whenever they hurt them, they just grew stronger. After trapping the Scout and realising that a whole lot more Honda are on their way to Skaro, the Doctor does a clever, unexplained thing to them which makes them go away, but more importantly, relieves them of their pain. When the Daleks naturally then try to betray the Doctor, the 13th Doctor appears 
appears and helps the Tenth Doctor escape to his TARDIS. The story ends with the Dalek strategist getting told off for not being able to kill the Doctor, but it's hinted that the Emperor and the Dalek strategist are not finished with him yet. This comic was overall pretty good. It's quite short as it's only two issues long, and it does feel like quite a simple plot due to the length, but I do feel despite the small space they had to tell a story, it wasn't overall too bad. This can read as a standalone graphic novel, and you don't need to read this as part of the overarching arc, but the small hints and references to Time Lord Victorious, fans will definitely pick up on. The Hond were okay, but seemed a little bit like the forgettable enemy of the week. The worst sin this graphic novel has, in my opinion, is how they're defeated. It's never properly explained. The Doctor shines a light on them and boom, they're all gone. If this was fleshed out a little, then I think it would have worked really well, but given the length of the graphic novel, this was clearly impossible. Yet another example of there not being enough length to tell a good story. The Daleks still felt ruthless despite asking for help from the Doctor, and I liked how they turned on him as soon as the Doctor had sorted the problem with the Hond. The strategist was introduced, and I really liked the character. Yes, a Dalek with character. It's interesting to see the power struggle between the strategist and the Emperor and how the strategist brags about his won battles by wearing his old broken casing with pride. Or does he? This was by far the best character in the book, and I'm excited to see the strategist in future chapters in this event. The Doctor was also written well, and some lines I could definitely imagine David Tennant saying, which only adds to the immersiveness of the book. The 13th Doctor also makes a cameo appearance, and I'm still scratching my head as to why they brought another Doctor into this story. Like, don't get me wrong, I was exceptionally excited when the 13th Doctor appeared, but it was literally only for a few pages right at the end, and all she did was get the 10th Doctor out of a scrape. Overall, I did enjoy this graphic novel, and I would recommend picking it up. The artwork was great, it has an immersive plot, and it really set you up for the Time Lord Victorious arc. I feel the characters were written perfectly, and I enjoyed the small story arc references. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. It would have been so much better if it was longer, but still strong. Okay, so that's the end of today's review. There is another little series that I recommend you watching. It's completely for free. Um, it's called Daleks! Um, they basically released this on YouTube, the BBC, so I'm going to link episode one down below. As I said, it's completely free, and it's quite a fun little series with the Dalek strategist and the Emperor Dalek, so please go check that one out. Um, if you did enjoy today's review, um, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below what your sort of most favourite part of this book was, or anything just in relation to Time Lord Victorious. Really want to get a discussion going in the comments as per usual, so yeah, please comment down below. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and stick around for the next part. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you very much. <laughs>